today we will discuss uh, another problem related to that but here they they are not specified anything what type of problem it is and other data are missing so we have to identify what type of problem it is and we have to solve it accordingly so they are given a figure here so you consider this as a clamp something like that so we are having around 25 mm and, and 35 mm which is the uh, overall dimension and there are two forces which is acting here one is 90 newton acting towards downward direction and 45 newton acting towards uh, right so they are given what is the Young's modulus uh, Poisson's ratio and what is the thickness so based on this particular data can you identify what type of problem it is whether it's a plane stress or a plane strain problem so plane stress uh, because thickness is very less when compared to the other dimensions yeah very good problem is a plane stress problem because the dimension here which is 25 and 35 but the thickness what they given is lesser when compared to these two dimensions right in that case this problem is a plane stress problem so the first thing is what type of problem it is so this is a plane stress problem so when you consider plane stress your d matrix will be based on that so the problem they are asking you to identify what is the deflection and also what is the stress value for this particular element so you have a single element so which is having nodal point one so let me consider this as nodal point one this is nodal point two i will change it and this is nodal point three these are the three nodal points so based on this nodal points we have to identify what is your deflection and what is your stress so if i want to identify deflection i need what is my k value so you know that f ocf is equal to k into u so without your stiffness matrix k we can't identify what is your deflection so my main concentration is to identify what is this stiffness matrix k so to identify stiffness matrix k so based on the formula for a cst element the formula will be b transpose d b into so volume so volume is nothing but area cross section is the area of this and into thickness so this is my formula so we have to identify each matrix one by one and after we identify these matrix then we have to multiply it then we have to identify what is your k matrix so that will be the overall uh, part of it okay now let us identify few data first data is your area area a so you know that so it's a regular triangle so it looks like a right angle triangle you know you, you can easily identify area is off into base into height so here off your base is 35 and your height is 25 so off into 35 into 25 what is the value we are getting 437.5 yeah so 437.5 mm square this is my area so this data is over so this is also over because the thickness is already given now we have to identify what is our b matrix first we will identify what is by b matrix then we'll go for d matrix so first go for b matrix so as we discussed earlier b matrix is strain displacement matrix so this is strain displacement matrix you know what is the formula for this so your b matrix is nothing but 1 by 2a q1 0 q2 0 q3 0 0 r1 0 r2 0 r3 and cross multiplying this six so r1 q1 r2 q2 and r3 q3 this is my b matrix so let us identify what are these values of q1 q2 q3 and other data so i am going to consider the same triangle what is given here so let me consider this triangle let me consider this my, this my 
point one, this is my point two, this is my point three. And this is x1 comma y1, this is x2 comma y2, this is x3 comma y3. I, I will directly go into solve instead of substituting these values as a formula, right? It is up to you. So, okay, I will, I will substitute as a formula, no problem. So, let me start with Q. So, if I want Q, you know that I have to go in anti-clockwise direction and I have to consider Y. So, these are the two conditions, right? So, for to identify these, so remember the formula easily. So, I have told you. So, Q means consider rotate, you consider in anti-clockwise direction and you consider Y term. So if I want Q1, so Q1 will be, so one, so the other two, so two and three, right? So Y2, so rotate, moving in anti-clockwise direction. So Y2 and Y3, so Y2 minus Y3, which is nothing but Y2 is 25 and your Y3 is 25, so it is zero. Next, Q2, this is my two, so y3 and y1, so y3 minus y1. So y3 is 25, y1 is zero, so you will get 25. Next q3, q3 is y1 minus y2, so y1 minus y2, so y1 is zero, y2 is 25, so it is minus 25. This is my q data. So let me go for the next one, which is R. R, as I told you, it has to be in clockwise rotation and you have to consider your X term. You have to consider your X term. So in that case, let me consider what is your R1. So R1 will be moving in clockwise. So which means the first one is zero, X3 and X2. So X3 minus X2. So X3 is zero x2 is 35 so it is minus 35 so the next is r2 r2 is this one so moving in clockwise x1 and x3 x1 and x3 so x1 minus x3 so x1 is 0 and x3 is also 0 so which means 0 next r3 R3, this is my R3, moving in clockwise, which is X2 minus X1. So X2 minus X1. So X2 is 35, X1 is zero. So in that case, this is equal to 35. So I got all the values. Only thing is I have to substitute in my B matrix. May proceed with my B matrix. So B is equal to one by two A, so 2 into your area, which we already identified, area is 437.5. So it is 437.5 into Q1, 0, 0, Q2, which is 25, 0, Q3, which is minus 25, and 0. Here it is opposite 0 first, then R1, which is minus 35, 0, R2, R2 is 0, 0, R3, R3 is 35. Then just cross multiply these things. So minus 35, 0, 0, 25, and this has to be 35 and minus 25. This is my values. Uh, let me simplify this then. I will take phi outside so that uh, it will be more simplified. So if I take phi outside, so phi divided by 2 into 437.5. So your matrix will be 0, 0. So this is phi, 0, minus phi, 0. 0, this is 7. So minus 7, 0, 0, 0, 7. So minus seven, zero, zero, five, seven, minus five. So this is my B matrix. The next step is let us proceed with D matrix. So let me go for D matrix. 
So D matrix is a material property matrix. So here the property, so what we are consider is, it's a plain stress material, plain stress uh, problem. So for that, your D matrix, your formula will be D is equal to E by one minus mu square into, so one mu zero, mu one zero, zero zero one minus mu by two. So this is my formula. So in this we are going to apply what is the values accordingly. Let me proceed with your D, E mat, E, what is your E, in smallness. So you know that, so your in smallness is in megapascal. So you know that one megapascal is one Newton per mm square. So we are solving in Newton and mm, so no need to worry. You can substitute only this value. So in that case, your E will be same. So what is there? So 69900. So I'll directly write down 69900 divided by 1 minus, what is your mu? So mu is 0.3. So 0.3 square. Into your matrix. 1.30. So 0.3, 0, sorry, 0 0.3, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. So this 0 0.7 divided by 2, you're writing 0 0.35. This is my D matrix. So we identified these two matrices, your D matrix and your B matrix. The next step is, I want to find out what is my stiffness matrix, K. To identify my K, first I will multiply this DB. Uh, the reason is, so you know, they are also asking you to identify stress. So that is the only way, actually. The other one is, to identify stress, you know, what is the formula for stress? Stress is D into B into U. So this is my stress. So without knowing the value of u, we can't identify the stress. That is one case. Other ones, we need the matrix D into B. So so that's why. First, we'll multiply this. We'll have it ready. Then after completing identifying your u value, you can use that to identify your stress. So let me multiply D matrix and B matrix. So I'm going to multiply D and B. So my D matrix is this. So I will first write down the common terms. So 69900 divided by 1 minus 0.3 square. This is my D matrix, the common term of your D matrix. And your common term for a B matrix is 5 by 2 into 437.5. So 5 by 2 into 437.5 divided by This is a common term for B matrix. So now I will write down the matrices. So matrices is 1.30, 0, 0.3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0.35. This is my D matrix. B matrix. So let us multiply. So can you tell me what is these terms? So when I multiply all these things, can you tell me what is the value of this? Or 38.9324. Yeah, thank you. So this is my overall term for this, right? Okay, so now let us multiply the other part. So this is my four matrix. So you know, this is three cross three matrix. And this is three cross six matrix. So when I solve, we'll get three cross six matrix. So I already told you there is one way of solving it. So that is, you can you can consider this as matrix A, the other one as matrix B, and the other one as matrix C. You can multiply A into B and A into C, you'll get the first part and second part. But uh, I feel it is somewhat complicated. We can directly multiply, so that is easy. So one into zero, zero, 0.3 into 0, 0, 0 into 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0
so minus 7 it is also 0 so this term will be 0 next 1 into 0 0 so 0.3 into 7 what is 0.3 into 7 2.1 sorry 2 point 2.1 so we are getting 2.1 yeah it is 2.1 minus 2.1 minus 2.1 and the last term is 0 this is 5 so 1 into 5 5 others are 0 so this is 5 next 1 into 0 0 so 0.3 into 0 0 0 into 0 oh, sorry 5 0 so 1 into minus 5 which is minus 5 0.3 into 0 is 0 0 into point, uh, 7 is also 0 so you are getting minus 5 then similarly 1 into 0 0 0.3 into 7 which is 2.1 and other terms is 0 right so this is my 2.1 is the value so 1 2 3 4 5 6 I got all the six values right next let me go for the next one so 0 0.3 into 0 0 1 into 0 0 and 0 into minus 7 0 so this is 0 so 0.3 into 0 0 so 1 into minus 7, it is minus 7. Others is 0. So 0.3 into 5, so it is 1.5. Right, so you are getting 1.5. So 1.5 and the others are 0, so 1.5. So 0.3 into 0, 0. So 1 into 0, 0 and 0 into 5, that is also 0. Similarly, 0.3 into minus 5, which is minus 1.5, others are 0, so minus 1.5. And 0.3 into 0, 0, so this is 7 and the other one is 0, so this is plus 7. Right, so the last term, so 0, 0 and 0.35 into 7. So what you are getting 0.35 into 7. So you are getting 2.45, right? Minus 2.45. So we are getting minus 2.45. And this alone, so this is 0, 0 and 0.35 into 5. So 0.35 into 5. So we're getting 1.75. So this is 1.75. And again, 0 0.35 into 7. So 2.45. The last minus 1.75. So this is my DB matrix. Right? So your DB matrix is this. This entire term. I will be using the same matrix while you are identifying the element stresses. But uh, as of now, you have to multiply this with the other matrix, which is B matrix, a B transpose matrix. Okay, so let me take that. So the next step is multiplying with B transpose. So B transpose D B. So this is out. I'm going to multiply. Okay, what is my B transpose matrix? So this matrix, which has to be transposed. But common term is same. So whatever the matrix I have, first, let me write down what are the common term. So 438.932 into, and your other common term, again, it is 5 into 2 into, so, so sorry, 5 divided by, 2 into so 437.5 so this is my common term next B matrix B transpose actually 
So B transpose. So you write it in the other way. So 0, 0, minus 7. The first one will be 0, 0, minus 7. The second is 0, minus 7, 0. 0, minus 7, 0. Second, 5, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 5. So of second and third. So 5, 0, 0. 0, 0, 5. Next, minus 5, 0, 7, 0, 7, minus 5. Minus 5, 0, 7, 0, 7, minus 5. So this is my B matrix, B transpose matrix. Right? Next, your DB matrix, which you already we identified. So let me consider that. So this is my DB matrix. So this is my DB matrix. So I got these two matrices. Only thing is I have to multiply this. So you know that it's, this is three cross, sorry, six cross three, and this is three cross six. So when I multiply, what you'll get, I'll got six cross six matrix, okay? So that will be your uh, stiffness matrix because you know, your stiffness matrix K, your stiffness matrix K is B transpose D, D, along with that, you have to multiply with A into T. A into T is a common term. It doesn't matter. But other terms, so B transpose DB, that is the main matrix we will be having. So these are the things we are, which has to be done. So here, what you can do is, you can arrange your uh, six cross six matrix but you concentrate only on your diagonals. One diagonal is enough. Because the other one is symmetrical, no need to multiply everything. So because uh, it will be a little bit, uh, it takes a time consuming process. So what we can do is we will make sure that you will concentrate only on upper triangle. Okay. So what is this common term? If you solve this thing, so what is the, what, what do you, what is the common term you are having? For this, 2.508 this is my common term. Let me go for a seven cross seven table. So I will so I will just type the value so that it will be easy for me. B1 and this is B1. This is similarly U2, B2, U3, and V3. So these are my terms. Similarly here also, this is U1. This is V1, this is U2, V2, U3, and V3. So this is my part. So let me fill it up one by one. So the first row, first column, that I can multiply. So which means 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0, minus 7 into minus 2.45. So which is 7 into 2.45. So we're getting 17.15. So this I can write it. So here, the value here is 17.15. This part is over. Right? Next, I will concentrate on, uh, I think, uh, first row, I will concentrate fully. No need to worry because everything has to be entered. Next, 0 into uh, this 0, 0 into this value is also 0. So minus 7 into 0, that is also 0. So this term is 0. Next, 0 into this 0, this is also 0, and this is also 0. So all are zeros. So this is also 0. So next, 0 into uh, 0, 0, 0 into this 0, and minus 7 into 1.75. So it is minus 7 into 1.75. So we are getting 12.25. So minus 12.25. This value will be minus 12.25. U3. So this part 0, 0 and minus 7 into 2.45, which we already identified. So only thing is negative term. So minus 17.15. 
The last one again 7 into 1.75 we are getting so minus and minus it's a positive value so we are getting plus 12.25 so other things are zero okay so this is my first value next v v i don't want to consider in the first row and the second row and first row the first column because that is let me consider as x okay because let me consider so that will be symmetric i will concentrate on second row and second column like that so from second row we'll go 0 into 2.1 0 so 7 into 7 7 sounds are 49 so it is positive right so other things are 0 this is 49 next 0 into 5 0 so 7 into 1.5 so i think we are not solved anything like that 7 into 1.5 which is 10.5 so positive and negative so it is minus 7 into 1.5, right? So it is negative. So minus 10.5. This is minus 10.5. Next. So 0 into 0, 0. And this term is also 0. The last term is also 0. So all these terms are zeros. Next. 0 into minus 5, 0. So one, 7 into 1. minus 1.5 which is a positive value. So which means you are getting this is 0 and this is 10.5. Next, uh, 0 into 0, 0, 7, 7, 7 and 49. So this will be minus 49. Right? Uh, think about it. Already we discussed about one property about your stiffness matrix which means your rows and if you add all the rows it has to be zero right so you think one if you get a positive value other will be a negative value so that if you add everything so the first row if you add everything it is becoming zero similarly the second row if you add everything it is becoming zero so that is what the property is so you make sure so that also comes under uh, properly so otherwise you made some mistakes right okay this one i will put two x's Right, so I will concentrate from third row, third column, so which will minimize my row, uh, my work. So five into five, twenty-five, and other things are zero. So this has to be twenty-five. Next, five into zero, zero, zero into zero, zero, zero into zero, zero. So this is all zero. Next, so five into minus five, minus twenty-five. Other things are zero. So minus twenty-five. Of course, you know, so this has to be, what is the value for this? So make sure in the Excel button, it means that you are, it is symmetrical, right? Ah, so the symmetrical is meaning. So upon the minus 25, minus 25, so that's our value, right? In a value, as you can see, so 5 into 2.1, right? So what is 5 into 2.1? <coughs> Sorry. We're getting 10.5. Right? Positive or negative? So it is a positive value. Right? It is a positive value. So it is 10.5. Right? Upon this is symmetrical. In the value on the minus 10.5. Right? So that is why we put like that. So X put on in the problem row. So make sure you multiply it properly. So next. I'll put three x's, x, x, x. I'll start from here. Fourth row, fourth column. So fourth row, fourth column. Zero into zero, zero. Zero into zero, zero. Five into 1.75. So five into 1.75. So we are getting 8.75. Next, five into zero, zero, zero. Zero into zero, zero. And this one, 0, so next 0, so 5 into 2.45, so 5 into 2.45, so getting 12.25, so this is 12.25. Next, 0 into 0, 0, 0, so 5 into minus 1.75, so what is 5 into minus 1.75? 
So which is minus 8.75, my value. Next, here I'll put one, two, three, four x's. So I'm going to consider fifth row, fifth column, and the other part. So five into minus five into minus five, 25, zero, and seven into 2.45, there are two values here, 25 plus seven into 2.45, so which is 42.15. So we are getting 42.15. Next here, so minus five into 2.1, so we are getting minus five into 2.1, plus zero into seven, zero, and the other one is minus seven, sorry, uh, seven into minus 1.75, so which is also a negative term. So minus seven into 1.75. So we're getting minus 22.75, minus 22.75. And the last one, so all these things are x's, so x, 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 so only this term, last row, last column. So 7 into 7, 7, so 49, and 5 into 1.75. So 49 plus 5 into 1.75. So we are getting 57.6. My stiffness matrix. But the stiffness matrix I have to consider. So the, if I consider this as a stiffness matrix, you have to multiply A into T. So into area, so area you know, which is already identified. So 437.5 into thickness is 8. So I have to multiply with that. So 437.5 into 8. So this gives you what is the stiffness matrix. So overall stiffness matrix. Now let me proceed to the next one. So let me say that this is F is equal to K into U. Right, so in that case, so you are F, what is my F? So my F is my forces with respect to the nodal point, F1, Fx1, Fy1. So nodal point one, you don't have any force. So everything is no force here. So which means zero and zero. So this two is zero. So zero, zero. Nodal point two. If I consider nodal point two, you have Fx, which is 45. F4 is minus 90. So 45 and minus 90. So we have 45 and minus 90. And the third point is also you don't have any force. So these are all zero. So this is equal to this term. So the term is common terms, which is 2.508. So into 437.5 into 8. So you are getting 8, 8, sorry, 8778. So you are getting 8778 into the matrix. I will just put uh, the value. So u1, v1, u2, v2, u3, v3. Similarly, I will put it here. So we are having u1, v1, u2, v2, u3, v3. I am not marking anything here because I am going to uh, apply the boundary condition. So this into u. So as usual, so u1, v1, u2, v2, u3, v3. Let me apply my boundary condition. What is my bound? What is my boundary condition here? So this entire term is fixed, right? In that case, so if this entire term is fixed, you are displacements at nodal point 3 and nodal point 1, both are zeros. So in that case, what I can say, I can say that your u1, v1, u3, 
v3 all those terms your terms are zero right so which means let me sub substitute here so this is all these are all zeros this is zero this is zero this is zero and this is zero which means i can strike that row and that column so third row third column similarly first row first column so first row, first column, second row, second column. So here also. What are the remaining terms? That alone I am going to consider. The remaining term here is here, which is this part relating U2, U2, V2, U2. So that term. So where is that term here? So I will highlight it here. So U2, V2, so this term. Right? this term alone comes into picture. So others, everything is being removed. So it has been striked out. So only this term will be, we are going to calculate. So in that case, what is my K matrix? So I'll re 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 rewrite this. So your F is 45 and 90 to minus 90 is equal to common term which is 8778 into the terms which is 25 0 and 0 now I, I am writing symmetrical part 8.75 into I think but u2 v2 so I will write this as an equation. So when I write it as an equation, so 45 is equal to 8778 into 25 U2 minus 0 V3, V2, right? Minus 0 V2. So which means this is my term. So you will get what is the value of U2. Similarly, minus 90 is equal to 8778 into 0 U2, right, plus 8.75 V2. This is my second term. So from this, I can able to identify what is my V2. Can you tell me what is the values here? So for U2 and V2, 2.051 into 10 power minus 4 mm okay and, uh, and b2 it's uh, minus 1.172 into 10 power minus 3 mm so. into 10 power minus 4 mm minus 3 sir okay it is minus 3 okay thank you so we got this values so we got u2 and v2 right so the first part of the question is over so the first part is identifying the deflection. Now they are also asking oh, what is the stress value, right? So to identify the stress values, now I identify what is my deflection. So to identify stress, you know what is the formula? So stress is B, sorry, D, B matrix into U. Right, this is my formula for stress. So you already know what is your DB matrix. I mean, consider that. So what is my DB matrix? This is my DB matrix. So I will consider this term. So this is my term for identifying the stress. DB matrix into, I am going to multiply with U. U1, V1 is zero. U2, V2, that's what we identified. So this is 2.051 into 10 power minus four. I'll write that 2.051 into 10 power minus 4. V1 is, sorry, V2 is minus 1.172 into 10 power minus 3. Minus 1.172 into 10 power minus 3. Other things are 0, 0, 0. So let us identify what is our stress. So common term for 438.9 into so this is a matrix which is 3 into 6 and this is 1 into 
six. Sorry, six into one. Six into one. So which means you will get three into one matrix. So what is that matrix? So let us identify. So zero into zero, zero. So minus this will also be zero. This is five into this this term. That alone comes into the picture. So which is two point zero five one into ten power minus four into five. So we are getting around zero point zero zero one zero two five five. This is the value. So you just look here. So only this terms comes to the picture. The other terms are all zero, right? So only this term. So when I multiply, so that will come accordingly. The second part. So this is multiplied with one point five. So you are what we are getting here is. So we are getting zero point zero zero zero. Three zero seven six five. This is my this part. Okay. So the last one we are getting. So we are getting multiplying with the other part. So which is minus one point one seven two into ten power minus three into one point seven five. So when I multiply, so we are getting minus zero point zero zero two zero five one. This meter. So now you multiply these things with respect to our stress value to find out your values. So which is four thirty eight point. So that's a common term. So four thirty eight point nine three two four. So into the values whatever you want. So the values first value is zero point zero zero one zero two five five. So you are getting. So point four five zero one. The second term you just substitute it accordingly. So you will get around point one three five zero. The last term again when you substitute and zero. That's it. So there is nothing but your sigma x, sigma y, and tau. You are tau. So, this yes, yes. So, this completes this particular topic.